about time someone said the quiet part out loud. Ladies, getting screwed. The WNBA has made this point. They call it the next Magic and Bird. Either your team Reese or your team Clark. That's it. Pick a side. At the same time, they're picking a side. They're set to sign a $240 million a year TV contract, opposed to the $60 million a year contract they currently have. They're being forced to play in bigger arenas, not the little small rinky dink junior high school team arenas. Now they're playing in big 20,000 seat arenas. Having millions of views for games, something they have not had in 20 plus years. So yeah, they're losing $50 million this year. The NBA will probably subsidize that. But next year, the TV contracts alone will dwarf what they made last year. And last year was a record. Think about that. $240 million a year, which is basically four times the amount what they made last year on contracts alone. And what did the ladies get? Well, make the all-star team ladies, it's an extra $2,500 for you. How does that feel? You can buy some red bottles with that. You can buy a purse with that. That's all you're going to get. Now, there are kickers in there, 17% uh, goes up to certain players. If they use you as a promotional tool, you may make $500,000 a year. Probably make $500,000 a year. So how long do the ladies actually get a little bit more money? Because I've told you before, it's kind of a shame that I know personally Uber drivers who make more than Caitlin Clark does from the WNBA. But yet, for some odd reason, the pay is not going up. If they're going to generate this kind of money, even if it's only those two players, I hate them or love them, it's time WNBA starts dividing the Cochrane, starts dividing that paper out. Coach, I'm out.